It was just like every other day in the beginning. My assistant came and picked me up at my house and went to shoot around. My shot felt really good that day. And I made 34 out of my last 35 threes. And I was like, okay. Then it was time to go, ready to go. Καλύτερη του εμφάνιση με την Bayern ήταν σε εκείνο το μόνο του 14 στο οποίο ο Γκάουτλοκ έβαλε 13 κοντά. I wanted to get to my shot early. And T-Bor Plyce is our big guy. And I know he's going to set good screens. So most of the times when I come off of there, I know I have a shot. I came off of the ball screens. The big was back and just came right into my jump shot. And I hit the first one. I have a really good connection with Shane. It's not that he's always scoring, try, trying to score. He gives me a lot of good passes. The next position down, the big was more focused on me that time, and Tibor hit like a little mid-range jump shot. I hit a shot and Tibor hit a shot, so now they have to kind of pick and choose exactly who they want to pay more attention to. So the big kind of stayed back again, then I had my shot again. And then the next position down, we got into a side pick and roll, and then the big man stepped up a little bit this time because I had two threes, and I dumped it off the T board. Locking inside the place, runs and rams it home with a one handed jam. And we forced him into a timeout. It got us going early, it got his friends behind us, and got our team energized, and we were well on our way to a good game at that point. Locking pulls up for three in the face of Mateus Lasort and drops the bucket. Euroleague is very competitive. Um, some of the best players in the world are, are playing in the Euroleague. And after the NBA, for sure, best competition in the world. Best score each season is around 18, 19 points, so you can imagine how, how hard this is to score. The Euroleague is very defensive focused and team oriented. The, the spacing is a lot different than in the NBA. There is no defensive three seconds. The tempo is slowed in the NBA. The defense are more collapsed. In Europe, it's always crowded, and it's, it makes it very difficult for players to go to the rim. And it's very challenging to score a lot of points in, in Europe. The great Luka Doncic once said that it's easier to score in the NBA than in the EuroLeague. Down to the corner, locking for three, and he is unconscious in the first quarter of this game here at the Sinan Erdem. Shane also, his unlimited confidence is he knows what he wants to do on the court and then he has the ability to go out there and do it. Everything was, was clicking for us. We were playing well offensively, but you know, it was a close game. And you know, that's somewhat frustrating when you're playing so well offensively and the other team is just punching you right back. But it was like a, a boxing match and we were just, everybody was going at it. They were hitting shots, we were hitting shots. They had the momentum, we had the momentum. They were getting to stop, we were getting to stop. And it was just a high level competition game. And those are always the funnest ones when you get into those kind of games. I always want to be the guy that gets my team over the edge. I want to have the responsibility of taking us to that next level. All of us know when Shane is hot that uh, we need to give him the ball. If we can create something and pass to him, it's always the best option. Great one bucket after the other. In Europe, when somebody's really hot and on fire and scoring like over and over again, the defense tried to figure out a B option, you know, to, to stop him. Towards the end of that half, they definitely picked up the defensive intensity. I've had other games before where I have been playing well and defenses have done the same thing, so my mindset kind of changed at that time as well. Before I was making a lot of shots, making a lot of threes and kind of playing from the perimeter, I knew now that the defense was going to push out and then I really tried to make it a point to get to the basket. It's always nice to go to the free throw line when nobody's guarding you and shoot free throws. And just keep me going, just keep seeing shots go in the basket. <laughs> He had a very good first half, and uh, as a joke, I took it. He said, oh, I'm going for the whole time high. And my mindset was stay aggressive, try to get to the basket. 
I knew it was going to be a good game for him, but I didn't know it was going to be a, a historical game. Simon Glistike, Allah Torayne. When Shane made one bucket after the other, I mean, he hit everything and the whole team was behind him. Shane was just on something special that night and not, nobody could stop him. When you try every possible defensive coverage against a player and nothing is working, at one point you get frustrating and I took a couple steps and I was like, all right, bet that. <laughs> That's all I said. I was like, bet that. And now I'm taking this out on all of y'all. So I wasn't really thinking about the record before this, but you want to try to, you know, tackle me in the middle of the court. Now I'm going to make this game known forever. So all of y'all are going to watch this for the rest of your time to know that. I did kill you. We're inching closer to the record. Everybody's pretty much expecting me to like shoot every single time down the court now so that I can get to the record. At one point, I believe that everybody in our team and even in the other team were just looking at him because it was just amazing to see a guy being able to score from everywhere on the court and make it look so easy. At 38 points, the record was 41. So I was pressing, I was trying to break the record as opposed to playing the right way. Three, four minutes left in the game, close to this record, and I get a charge. So coach took me out of the game and I was just like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing right now? I was like, yo, there's four minutes left in the game. I'm trying to break this record. He was like, trust me, trust me. Gel, e, bir nefesten, bir dinlen. E, sen bu rekoru e, bir dakika dinlendikten sonra iki dakikada da bu rekoru kırarsın dedim. You need a break. You look tired. You're pressing. Go sit down for a minute. I mean, I promise you, you'll break the record. I started having a little bit of anxiety. It was just a lot going through my mind, and then the crowd kind of got into it. And then, like, maybe 30 seconds later, 45 seconds later, I got back up, got in the game, the fans started cheering. The very first possession that I got back into the game, our big guy was under the basket, pretty open, and one of our guys threw it, and Greg Monroe steals it. And he throws it to his guard, and his guard turns his head, doesn't even see the ball. I'm just standing right there, and the ball just takes one bounce, coming to me at the top of the key. If I had to shoot for my life, I would shoot from that spot. And it just came to me, perfect rhythm, everything, and I just couldn't have been any better of a situation for me. I hit that shot and I was like, okay, I could breathe again. I wanted to stay focused because now I tied the record. I knew I was in the, in the record books, but I didn't want to tie. Like, I don't want to tie. I want to break it. So I stayed calm and I ran down the court and the crowd was going crazy, but I'm like, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. And then, you know, a couple of possessions later. Shane Larkin, nice to the hole for his 43rd points of this game. The year before, my grandfather had passed away. I pointed up at him, I was like, I did that for you. He was one of my biggest supporters. So um, it was just a good moment. And then the rest of the game happened the way it happened. And I looked up to my assistant after that shot. He like looks at me, he's like this, he's like, you going crazy. Bro, what are you doing? Like, this is beyond crazy. I looked up there and I was like, Leo, deep got me some. All the fans that were there that night, they got to witness history. 13 out of 27 is locking. Oh, this is absolutely extraordinary from Shane Larkin. 10 of 12 from three-point territory, 9 of 10 from the free-throw line, 5 of 7 from two-point land. And I think that game, everybody realized who I was. He's uh, one of the best players who ever played in this league. You can see why he's on the top and why he means so much for this team. Nobody was expecting that, but when you're talking about Shane Larkin, you got to expect the unexpected. People that were there that day, like they made shirts in Turkey. It was like I witnessed 
liked that game, and it was like the coolest shirt <laughs> to me at least. I'm sure that in near future it will, it will not happen again, except maybe if Shane do it again. I don't see any other player who can do something similar. Nobody can take this from me. Nobody can take that day, that record, that game. It's in the record books forever. It was a regular day, a regular season game. Shane made it special. Yeah. <laughs>